Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Show 20. So, one thing that I wanted to do this year is kind of do a, a weekly recap of everything we did throughout the week, being a no money spent player. So, in a sense, this is kind of a no money spent guide. If you do this, then you will have this as your end result. So, we're pretty much gonna go over everything we did. I guess since it's the the first three days, everything we did in the first three days, but we, we did quite a lot and we definitely made a lot of progress. So a couple things to note, everything that I do is on one account. So everything that I show throughout the week, no money is spent account, every gameplay, everything we complete, every pack we open, same account. So I think that's kind of big just to throw that out there because sometimes we might get something good or you know if we ever do battle royale get some good diamonds and stuff like that you guys will see where it comes from the other thing is is we've been pretty much doing no money spent the last three i mean every every year we don't we never spend money but in 17 i had pepe alazar 18 i had every immortal and 19 i had willie mays and hannes wagner without spending any money so i might not be the most efficient but i know how to manage and I know how to get the best cards without spending any money and just playing the game and grinding out the game. So with the grind, I probably do things three times the pace than the average viewer. But this is just to show that if you do this, you will have this as your end result. So for the first three days, this is what we've accomplished so far. We have 101k stubs. I haven't spent any of the stubs that I've gotten so far. So with our pre-order, we already had 30k. We made 71k just from playing the game and we did get a after game diamond it wasn't a player it was a shin guard and we sold that for 17k so without that we're probably at like 80k around there we are level 61 so we have grinded a lot and i'm gonna show you what we've done so far in the first few days and i guess you guys can see it in the first inning program we're at 141 so that's another thing that we're gonna work on but the first thing that i've done is conquest so all three of these conquest boards we did end up completing them so we have this tim tebow card the 87 willie Mays, and this first inning program conquest board so i always start with these because they do give you a good amount of xp and xp definitely important because you can get some nice rewards in the xp reward path and we actually do have some packs to open up. We have our level 40 and I think some other packs that we can show. So we will open those up. But Conquest, always a good starting point because of the XP you can get. You know, Willie Mays is a good starting diamond. I'm fine with having him early on. Tim Tebow is a silver card. But we, we did post these videos. If you guys want to see those, see some tips, you guys can go check those out. But just showing that Conquest, always a good starting point. The other thing that we did... And I don't know why I decided to take this route. We did every single moment that is out right now. So we have welcome to moments. These ones are pretty simple. You get 2,100 XP, which is pretty good. You also get this universal nameplate and another 3,000 XP. But there's, I think, like seven moments right here that you can do. It's all the pre-order guys that you end up using. Those, those moments aren't bad at all. Then you have your evolution moment. So you get this evolution pack in the XP reward path at bronze level 10. You get your first one. I ended up picking Dennis Eckersley. So I did his moments. And for the most part, they were pretty simple. I think um, you have to pitch like nine innings in one. And one of them gave me trouble. But for the most part, it's a pretty simple set. And you get 9,400 XP. So everything that I do early on. My focus is XP. I think that's, like I said, the most important thing to look at and try to get done. We also did all the team affinity ones. So here you get a lot of XP, 12,000 XP and 15,000 bonus. So there's 30 of these. You're using all of the face of the franchise guys in these moments right here. And they do take a while to do. I think all, all the moments that I'm showing you guys, it probably took me... I don't know. I don't know an exact hour, but I spent pretty much all day yesterday and half the day today to get it done. But I think it's like, I think it took me like 10 to 13 hours, something like that. And we, we wanted to get them all done. But as far as these moments go, most of them are pretty simple. Um, The one that took me the longest was this Matt Olsen one for the A's, just because you have to get two doubles. I kept getting like a double and a home run or two home run games. So that one took me the most. 
but most of these are pretty simple uh you have some three hit games and stuff like that but the best part about doing all these you do get some progress for your team affinity grind and you're you know getting progress towards getting some face of the franchise players but the main thing is that xp and it's an okay amount of stubs you know i guess most of our stubs have come so far from moments and just getting that done and then we also did all the created player ones now the reason that i do these is just to have gold created players at every position but once again because of the xp you get a good amount of stubs i guess you pretty much get like 1500 or a thousand for each one of these i think i do have the totals so i did total some of this so if you do like all these created player moments and all the team affinity that's around 71,000 xp and you get around 20k in stubs which it's not bad. I don't have the totals off the bat for these two, but you probably can add a couple more thousand to that value. So the moments, we got all those done. So the reason that I focused on the moments, one, when new content comes out, when new moments come out, we can just go right into it and, you know, we don't have to worry about past moments. Everything that comes out now, we can just jump into right away, get it done, get more XP, get more stubs and whatever the reward might be the second thing obviously is for the starting xp and getting all those done so that also goes with conquest too you know the reason that we started off with conquest is to get that done and over with we don't really have to worry about these ones anymore and then when new conquest boards come out we can get those done too i think when we finished conquest we were about level 40 45 somewhere around that where we did all three of them and then i know for most of the moments I know like when I did the team affinity and the the creative player ones, we were around level 50. And from 50, we jumped up to 61, which is not bad. But one thing we haven't done yet and we'll get a lot more XP from is these collections right here. So if you collect 10, 20, or 30 from every team, you're going to get 7,500 XP. Definitely a lot right there. This is something we're going to do probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I just want to see how the market plays out. And I'm not really focusing on this yet, but this is definitely the next step in what we're going to go ahead and complete. And once we do that, we probably will jump at least 10 levels. I don't, I don't know exactly what the jump is, but we should jump a good amount of levels. So I definitely recommend for XP purposes to go ahead and pick 10, 20, even 30 from each team. At least get all the common and bronze players from every single team. And just by doing that, you're going to get a ton of XP. So that's, like I said, the next step for us and trying to get that done. Other than collections, I think our next grind is going to be the Team Affinity. Trying to get some progress done for these and maybe getting some face of the franchise card so we can end up debuting those guys. Also, now that we're pretty much done with the CPU grind, we can, st we can finally start playing online in ranked seasons and maybe battle royale maybe even the event so this is this is my team right now nothing crazy we got that mickey mantle card we do have mariano rivera on the bench we got lee smith brett saberhagen he's another reward you know a pretty basic team all gold players a couple diamonds we got willie mays on the bench right now and some power guys so that's that's our team and we haven't really started grinding or trying to build up the team yet the main focus, like I said, was just leveling up XP and trying to get stubs. So with our stubs, I normally don't spend or try doing anything until I have 100K. I like to have that threshold right there. So I don't really like going under 100K. Another thing I'm heavily considering is trying to flip the market. You know, I would love to turn my 100K into 200, 300, 400, 500K, you know, so... I don't know if I'm going to do this because I kind of find it boring sitting around and flipping the market. I'd rather play the game, but, you know, maybe I might take a day or two and flip the market and see if we can try to get more diamonds and whatnot because obviously our pack luck hasn't been the best. But speaking about packs, we do have some to open right now. These are just from XP Reward Path. I'm sure we might have got some from like Team Affinity Grinds and wherever else you can get packs right now. So... Not that many packs, but we do have this level 40 pack, which is a classic diamond. So we might as well open that up. We have an unlockables pack and looks like there are four of them right there. You know, nothing special right there, but we'll take those. We do have a set one headliners. We'll open that one up last. But right now we have these players. So um, what do I want to focus on? I don't I don't think it really matters what I end up getting right now. We'll take Rob Nen. He might be a good bullpen arm for us. 
being that he's a silver and we don't have that many good players. Is this a that's a starting pitching Babe Ruth? I don't think we're gonna use him at all. I probably won't use any of these guys to be honest, but we'll pick those guys up and then how many we have one pick for this. Um let's just go. We we took Babe last time. We'll take Jimmy Fox, why not? You know, those aren't really anything crazy, but we got two impact veterans, a breakout. We might put those guys into collections or lock them into collections. Try to get some more XP. Next we have, I guess we'll open up these. These show packs, we've at least opened like 50 of them so far and haven't gotten a single diamond. So the chances of us getting a diamond right now are slim to none, especially in three packs. But one of these days, you know, maybe, maybe we hit. Last one of these ones real quick and a bronze player so all bronze players right there we do have a set one headliners let's see the odds one in ten for a diamond one in three for a gold hopefully we at least get a gold you know i would love to get at least a gold player try to build around that silver and silver so back to back silvers right there puig and martin at least they're two players we don't have so that does help and then we do have a live series gold player 80 and above. Hopefully, it's someone good. We have Diaz, Brantley, Vado, and Snell. So, they're all pretty cheap. We didn't really hit with a big gold player, but Snell is the most expensive one. So, I think we take Snell right here. Or do we take Diaz? Because we, we definitely can use... Nah, we'll, we'll take the most expensive. Why not? We'll take the most expensive player and work with that. So, there's that. And then we have this classic one. So we do have some some solid choices right here. This is the level 40 pack you get in the XP reward path. So we have a Charlie Morton, 89 hit per 9, 90k per 9, 75 walk per 9. This pitch repertoire is really good. 96 two seam, 82 knuckle curve, 98 fastball, 90 cutter, and an 87 splitter. So a bullpen guy right here. This card was pretty nasty in 17. So he's one that I'm, I'm heavily considering. We got Gary Sanchez. 101 power versus righties, 102 versus lefties, 50 vision. It's not a bad card, but I don't think I need him because I have the live series right now, and I'm not really trying to double down on catcher. We have Alberto Mondesi, which is a straight-up nasty card. Any card you use of Mondesi is always good. 87 contact versus righties. Power numbers aren't even bad. 45 vision, has gold tier defense, 97 speed. I do have the silver right now, and... I mean, I can't really say if the silver has been good because we've only played Conquest, but the silver was, was hitting pretty nice in Conquest. We got Alex Reyes, 89 stamina, 84 hit per 9, 91 K per 9, 64 walk per 9, got a 97 fastball, 78 12 6, 88 changeup, 95 sinker, and an 84 slider. So I really like his pitch repertoire. His pitch speed differential is pretty good. Another card from 17 that I thought was pretty nice. So I think he's the one I'm favoring. And then we got Victor Robles who has great contact numbers, 84 versus righties and 90 versus lefties, and diamond tier defense, 97 speed. Would be a good leadoff guy. I don't think he was bad when I used him in 17. But I think uh, our lineup's okay. I mean, it's not really okay. It's all gold players. But I feel like it's easier to get diamond hitters than it is pitchers. So I'm going to go with either Charlie Morton and Alex Reyes. And... I actually don't know because I think having a diamond bullpen arm would be really nice. He has good stamina at 74. He could even start too. You know, with the new changes, we could start Charlie Moore in if we want. I mean, technically, we can bring Alex Reyes off the bench too <laughs> if we really wanted to. But I think, I think having that option to start, it's not bad at all. But I don't really have... I have all gold starting pitchers right now, huh? So I think what I'm going to do is pick up our early ace in Alex Reyes. And I think he's a good pick. You know, he's definitely a nice card to have. We'll add him right to our rotation. I guess replace Brett Saberhagen. But I don't think that's a bad card right there to have. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one. This is just the early grind. You know, if you're just getting into the game, I do recommend doing Conquest. If not the U.S. board, at least do the first inning program conquest board for the program points. So you can try getting progress towards Helton, Oswald, or Duke Snyder. And then I would do some moments, you know, try to get some of those done. But I think, like I said, the next move for me is grinding out showdown, trying to get some face of the franchise players. We'll definitely be playing some ranked seasons, 
throughout the week getting some debuts out there so we can actually see and have a gameplay because I haven't played online at all yet and do some collections, you know. So that's my next three moves right there. Also, I am hoping by Tuesday or at least Wednesday to finish up the first inning program and obviously when we do that, give you guys some pointers. So expect that video midweek as well as the collection progress. So that's the next two main things, I guess, is the collection and the first inning program getting getting those done or at least getting progress towards that. But other than that, let me know how you guys are doing so far with the game, what you guys have been grinding out. And if this helped you guys at all, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new. And that's that. We're going to continue our grind, try to get some diamonds, hopefully a good amount this week. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.